back at the form, Marv Albert, along with Mike Fratello, Ahmad Rashad, Steve Jones. As we look at the close-up statistics in the first half, again, both clubs shot well. 54% by the Bulls and the Lakers. And this, the uh, main difference, the Bulls crunching the Lakers off the boards. Big difference in the rebounds, but also big difference in turnovers. 10-4, 10 turnovers for the Bulls. As a result, most games, the Bulls, in the first two games, 11 more shots a game for the Bulls. Right now, 37 shot attempts for each team because of the difference in turnovers. Lakers open up with Magic Johnson, Byron Scott in the backcourt. Lottie Devots playing with three along with Ainsworthy Worthy and Sam Perkins. Devots getting inside. He now has 11. And the Lakers lead it by one. It's been close throughout at one stretch. Chicago led by four. At one point, Los Angeles had a five-point lead. Jordan off the double team. Got it back out. Pippen, yes. Bulls 50 and the Lakers 49. And Scottie Pippen is hitting the jumper. He now has nine. That time, the Lakers, after the double team, tried to half rotate. They pretended they were going to rotate to Pippen, then went back to their own men. Pippen knocked it out. What a save by Pippen. Jordan. Jordan on the rebound. It is so rare to see Jordan on the drive, not A, score, or B, get fouled. So he got the rebound. And a timeout called. It's a 20-second Timeout taken by the Lakers. Well, after the great save takes place by Pippen, what happens is Michael comes up with the ball. He heads to the basket at the other end. But now, as he starts to take off, Perkins moves into his body. He doesn't quite have the lift and not enough extension there to finish it off. So he just kind of hustles back on the floor and says, I'll do it this way. The Chicago Bulls in game two Wednesday night at Chicago Stadium, shot an NBA Finals record 61 and 7 tenths per second. They hit 50 out of 81, and both clubs have shot exceptionally well here tonight. Michael Jordan with 17. He's 7 for 15 from the field. Magic Johnson, 4 out of 6 for his 13. Worthy, the high man for the Lakers with 15. Jordan with 17. Grant with 14. Facing the bowl. Perkins putting the move on Cartwright, stepped away, perhaps not looking to pick up number four. One point lead by Chicago with a minute and 40 gone by in the third. Cartwright and Worthy on the rebound. That's the long arm of Sam Perkins, the extension challenging the shot that's throwing Bill Cartwright off just a little bit right now. Magic posting. Oh, what a pass for Divac. And Divac made the baseline cut that time a little bit sooner than he had been doing it. He caught the Bulls' defense by surprise. Los Angeles Lakers by one. Good recovery by Divac, and it forced the turnover. But you notice as soon as the Lakers seem to have a break, there's four red shirts back. Excellent transition defense. Packs it on the wing was open. Shot clock at 10. Packs it guarded by Johnson. Has to unleash. He forced it. He thought he was fouled. 24 second violation John Paxson arguing with the outside official Bill Oaks looking for a hack and did not get the call well, Paxson basically saying just because this was a launch I had to get it up at the last second if I get foul call the foul he feels that right there on his right arm Scott made contact that's what he's asking for beautiful backdoor pass Evans from Johnson Lakers for the three-point advantage. The Lakers used that same back pick play from the top of the circle foul in area twice in game two scored both times there as well. Turnovers have been hurting the Bulls. They have now committed 13 Lakers with only six.
Scott spotting up. Iron Scott now 0 for 4. The Chicago Bulls in possession. They are trailing by three. Jordan with the step and was forced to pop it back out. And Pippen run into by Worthy. Pippen faking, then holding and faking again, and he drew the foul. Let's go back a moment ago to one of the favorite plays the Lakers like to use only two or three times. A back pick right there. Small man Scott on big man. The lob over the top by Magic, and then the receiver who has excellent hands able to convert. Scotty Pippen has hit two of three from the line. He is a 70% free throw shooter. This series resumes Sunday night. Game four here in Los Angeles. That'll be 7 p.m. Eastern time. That's four out here on the West Coast. Please note that change in time. And then game five at the forum on Wednesday at 9 o'clock Eastern time. Lakers with a one-point lead. Four minutes gone by in the third. Crowd looking for a foul on Pippen, who plays Magic aggressively. What a pass! Perkins converting to give the Lakers a 57-54 lead. And Phil Jackson calling for time. I think Phil Jackson sees that they're ready for the way they've been playing. Jordan now on Divac. Lakers a go, go to it right away, and then the other two Laker players went to the open areas on the floor. Interior passing. Small man on big. Keep your head turned to the lane. The double team of Worthy and Perkins versus Cartwright is too much. Excellent interior passing. First one, second one to finish off the play. They're in the correct positions, attacking Jordan, who's matched up against Divac. This crowd raising its intensity. Uh, they've been quiet right throughout the first half. It's almost as if this crowd was sitting there saying, wait a minute, these Bulls are going to go away. They're not for real. They are for real. The crowd needs to get into the game and help the Lakers here at home. Lakers have a three-point edge. Johnson guarding John Paxson now. Ball foul call. Grant picks up his first. Phil Jackson in his second year as head coach of the Chicago Bulls. 45 years old. He was a combination philosophy, psychology, and religion major at North Dakota where he played for Bill Fitch, who is now the head coach of the New Jersey Nets. d off the spin. They match up in game two, except the Lakers didn't go to it on a consistent basis. There's the second time in a row this evening. Perkins with the rejection. Lakers on a roll. They lead by five. Magic Johnson. Yes. The Bulls calling for the timeout. The NBA on NBC is brought to you by Acura Automobiles. Experience precision crafted performance. By Miller Lite. Is it America's favorite light beer because it's less filling or tastes great? Yes. By Delta Airlines. We love to fly and it shows. And by Nike, who reminds you to just do it. Lakers have made a decision. They're going down in the hole. Make Jordan play d one-on-one. -on -one. It's a mismatch. Too big, too strong. Backs him down. But the key for the Lakers is if they pick up their intensity at the defensive end, make things happen with the defense, as Perkins does, there's no question then at the offensive end of the floor, the Magic Man will take over and make things happen. The crowd back into it again at the forum. The excitement back in the air. The Lakers love it. And Vlade 